Okay. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mang, and uh, I'm back with yet another Let's Play. Because <laughs> why not? My God. My God. Help me. Yeah. Uh, so the game we're playing today is Shadow of the Comet. Spoke the truth. Ah. Uh, also known as Call of Cthulhu, Shadow of the Comet. Yes, this is a Call of Cthulhu point-and-click adventure game. Hold tight, Crawford. They're coming. I can smell them. <laughs> And, uh, yes, it has classic 90s you were right, Doctor. graphics and audio. What will you do? And, uh, their mouths move like a old Chinese martial arts movie. I think he would have liked to see his works donated to the British Museum. So he just he just left like that was just pretty normal. Like he's not really like running away or anything. like it was just kind of a normal thing at this hospital. He just Doctor, come back. I must show you this. <laughs> Man, that's crazy to see. Chaos him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this game was released in 1993 and developed by Infogrames. And, uh, yeah, it is a Cthulhu Mythos adventure game. Uh, I did not play this as a kid. I didn't really know this existed until I think I was around when I was doing Dark Corners of the Earth or whatever. I looked into other Cthulhu S games, and this was one of them. It also has a, not really a sequel, but another game similar to it called Prisoner of Ice. Uh, but we're going to start with this one. Um, I don't know the, I don't really know the plot. I don't really know much anything about it. Um, but I know that it's going to be very difficult. Um, and so I'm not going to be shy about using a walkthrough if, uh, if I get kind of stuck. Like, if I spend more than five, ten minutes or something on one puzzle, screw it. Like, I'm really more here just for, like, the story and just the experience. I'm not here to prove my self-worth as a puzzle master. I've already done that time and time again. There are some dark things going on, though. I see that. Look at this. Though. This is just classic 90s Mythical artwork. Here. Your comet story has a great deal of promise. Tell me, 76 years after the Bolleskin business, you really think... Okay. He stumbled over something extraordinary at Illsmouth. His writings and sketches are proof of it. Yes, but he came home a raving lunatic. I don't want to go on any wild goose chases. You'll have solid proof, Mr. Griffith. I'll go to Illsmouth. 
I'll find the exact place where Boliskin made his sketches. I'll take photographs. It's really slow, isn't it? I don't know why that is. If I finance your trip, and if you take the first steamship to America, will you be there in time for the passage of the comet? Hey, so I'll be slow. There with three nights to spare before Halley's comet passes. I've already arranged to stay with a local doctor, a fella called Cobble. Well, I'm willing to take a chance. I just hope this is worth it. Mr. Griffith, your readers are going to love you. Bring me back some sensational photographs. Okay. Uh, enter moves on to the next thing, so I'll be I'll be hitting that. I want hard evidence of everything you say. I cannot afford to print crackpot ideas. Um. Yeah, because I think, like, in the floppy version of the the original version, there was no voice, is what I'm thinking. Possibly. So that was later added in the CD-ROM version, which isn't that uncommon. Uh, okay. So, Illsmith. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you not just use Innsmith, but okay. Uh, and we're here kind of investigating this guy's stories after he became a raving lunatic, but... Officially, we're here because of Halley's Comet, or Haley's Comet, one or the other. Okay. Mr. Parker, I presume? I guess I'm just playing as Peter Parker, I think. Dr. Carvel, delighted to make your acquaintance. Although... <laughs> I look familiar, I just can't quite fate. I, I can't... Mm. Allow me to introduce you to Andrew Arlington, the mayor of our little community. Well, that's definitely Vince, Vincent Price. Very happy to meet you. That guy Thank looks you, familiar. Sir. I'm very glad to meet you. Hey, this guy, he looks like somebody, right? I'm not just There's making no this up. There's no time to lose, Mr. Parker. We'd best be on our way. The sales brothers have delivered your luggage. There's a telegram for you. It's in your room. <laughs> okay. Why was that so sinister? Kind of early for a, a mythos themed game, 1910. Usually they like to go for the 20s. Dr. Cobble tells me you're interested in stars. Like, this guy has to be a part of, like, the esoteric order. And, and comets. Oh, yes, love comets. And comets. Comets. All about well, comets. your visit has something to do with Holly's comet. Yes, that is why I am here. Officially. Uh... Yeah, Illsmith. Great, great place. Indeed. And Illsmith appears to be a marvelous place from which to observe the sky at night. Oh, is that so? No. No, that's not what I meant. If it's a clear night, we shall see the comet soaring through the sky. You sure know how to project your enthusiasm, Mr. Parker. Damn it, I'm too over-eager, he's on to me! Well, here you are. All set to get to work. I'll show you to your room. I'll have to leave you, my customers. 
won't wait. Just like the worthy citizens of my little town. Have a wonderful visit, Mr. Parker. Yes, welcome to Eelsma. <laughs> yeah, who, uh, who decided on the name, by the way? Who named this little sleepy town? I reserved the big room on the first floor for you. Tell me if you need anything. Yeah. Don't worry, I have everything I need. Goodbye, Doctor, and thank you again. Whoa. What is he doing? Dude, he is eyeing the shit out of whatever that is. Look at him. It's like a comic book. He's just spazzing. I need it. I need that. Um... Okay, I can use arrow keys to move around. That's probably a bit easier. Um... Wondering, I guess I have to, even though. Okay, right click, pick up. Yeah. Bowl of Skeen's Diary. Okay, so now. Uh. What is this? Uh, kind of a confusing interface. I don't know what that button does. But right click doesn't always work. Just arrived in charming fishing port of Ilsman. Warm welcome from Dr. Cobble, with whom I'm lodging, and A. Arlington, the mayor. Okay, why did he start on page three? <laughs> what an asshole. Okay, it's kind of a cryptic UI, I'll admit. What is this? What is this? Oh. Tuesday, February 12th. I at last found a young villager willing to guide me through the forest for payment. Wednesday, February 13th. Good God, what a sight to see. The stars seemed a rifle shot away. This place must be a window to some other dimension. This evening I will take my material. Thursday, February 14th. This child of 12 is remarkable. A great deal brighter and livelier than the village children who seem a sorry lot. He held the torches while I drew new constellations upon the map. Undoubtedly inaccurate, given the position of the river. I have named them Octopus, Stalker. They are quite frightening. I have noted the place. I'll be there when Halley's Comet passes, and then... Okay. If the child was 12 years of age in 1834, he's 88 today. There's a chance he's still alive. The town records will have the information. Okay. Well, we have a, a lead, I guess. I didn't know that was how much time has passed, but okay... Just arrived in. No, I don't want the di. Why the why the diary? Get or the note. Get off the notebook. Like if I just want to, I want to work this chest over. What do I do? I have no idea. Okay, now he's eyeing that up. Now if I do this, he does a circle, and then he picks it up. Okay, so now then if we go here, we can read it. From Sales and Brothers London to Mr. Parker in Dr. Cobble Estate. Apologies. Stop. Have no more photosensitive plates. Stop. Try to purchase some your end. Stop. Okay. We need more photosensitive plates. Alright. He didn't seem to be eyeing up anything else, so... I guess that's our main indicator there's something to do, which is nice that they have that. I don't have to click on every inch of the screen. I can just see where his eyeballs are looking at. 
which is a little strange, but it's nice. <laughs> All right, Hillsmith. Uh, I guess I'll poke around a little bit. No, damn it, Parker! So it's a little different than a lot of adventure games, I guess, where you just get to click on just random shit and, you know, the main character says something about it. It's very just focus-driven. Aha! Alright, out on the town. Get me more pictures of Spider-Man! Okay, I want to head left. Do not want to head left. <laughs> okay, that answers that. Down. All right. Into the tree. Okay. Whoa. Hey, what's up? Okay. This looks like a library or telegram office or something. Uh, hello. Good day, sir. No time. The town hall is closed. We're expecting the new forms for the animal census, and the mayor isn't even here. Okay. I'd like to... Oh, is this... What is this? Maybe that'll do something good. I want that. Maybe that'll fix the... Oh, that just fixes me moving quickly, which is... Which is also Mayor good. Mayor is not here, sir. No one can go in his office when he's not here. Wow. Could you hate your job any more? I doubt it. Alright, so... I'll have to bust that guy's dick later, but... Not right now. Right now I need a gun! <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's Call of Cthulhu, man. If you don't have a rifle or a shotgun, you're playing it all wrong. Who's this jackalope? There you are at last, <laughs> Mr. Parker. I've been expecting you. Oh, don't be surprised. Passing scientists invariably pay me a short visit. Of course, they're okay. Now the text is way too fast. Now. Not like in the old days. But you don't want to hear all that. Allow me to introduce myself. Tobias Judge. Keeper of the archives and records. At your service. There's probably nothing I can tell you that you don't already know. You're wrong, Mr. Parker. I may know your name and profession, but not the reason for your visit. I just love, like, the positions they put their faces in for the conversations. Everybody's looking like Gollum. Yeah, Mr. Parker! I don't know, it's straight. Okay, we need to get the right speed setting for the, the conversations. We'll figure it out, it'll take some time. I'd like to consult the birth register. So, your interests are not limited to the stars. So. <laughs> I hope I may be able to quench part of your thirst for knowledge. But remember, there are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. They're not dreamt of in your philosophy. Now, who the devil wrote that? Hmm. Uh, the same wanker that writes all those bullshit philosophical nonsense that people love to just spout out at random people that don't give a shit. Shakespeare. Excellent. <laughs> so, Mr. Parker, you like to be. Um, I probably offended somebody there. I got nothing against Shakespeare. I just don't think it should be forced on children because it's really lame. That's what I think. Uh, I, dude, I love to read. I like nothing better than a good read. Books are my passion, Mr. Parker. My most precious companions. Silence, 
discreet, sometimes filled with mystery. I must let you get on with your work. Yeah. Okay, maybe... Maybe like right here. I don't know, we'll see. So he's not gonna answer my question, is he? What an ass hat. So he just quotes Shakespeare and tells me to F off. Great. Sounds like a city employee to me. Actually, no. Just without the Shakespeare part, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, I need a gun anyways. So I'll be back, sir. Let's see how much Shakespeare you're quoting then. Alright. Sorry, but you'll have to come back another time. The Donahue boy is sick, and I have too much work to do. Miss. Later. I'm very busy. Damn, everybody busy. I don't know who this Donahue kid is. Nor do I I'm care. I'm sorry, sir, but that's the door to the private apartments. You know, this place is very secretive. Let me look at this map. Do I have to look at anything? Oh, I see. Oh, there we go. A map of the area. Take it. Take that shit. No, he won't take it. Creepy shed? Nope. Okay, fine. Hey, look at this place. Okay. No. It's a little strange what he will look at and what he won't look at. So... It's a little hard to tell. <gasps> Ooh, a gun! To take that shit! Take that shit! Damn you, Parker! There, on the butt. L. Incredible. Jug has Boliskin's rifle. Oh, there's a message engraved in the gun. Dash it all. It's too small to read. If only I had a magnifying glass. Okay, I feel like there, I feel like there's really only two speeds, or three speeds. Yeah, there's slow, medium, and fast. So I don't know why I have this bar here. Fast is too fast, medium's too slow. We need a magnifying glass now. We also need to take the gun. That'll be good if we take it. Oh. We are just poking around where we should not be poking around. I don't know if you can die in this game or not, but it's called Cthulhu, so I would think so. Step in the fire? No. Curtains? No. No. Okay, I assume there to be nothing here. We need to get a magnifying glass and come back. And, uh... See what's on the gun. That was productive. Nobody. Ooh. I'll come back later. <laughs> you didn't even wait. You just knocked and then you just, like nobody's there. Run, Parker. Hey, look at this. Guns and fish. That's what I look for. Be with you right away, sir. Yeah. No problem, Mr. Hamilton. That'll be delivered tonight. Oh, 
I spoke to Miss Gilchrist. She got your package. Can I help you, sir? Who's this shady individual? Follow this asshole. Oh, he evaded me. What are you doing? What are you doing there, Holmes? Can I talk to him? No. God, the UI. Okay, he's apparently not talkative, not very interesting. Like, you right click, but if you like, like, you see it like that, okay, that's fine, but okay. <laughs> I'd like some photosensitive plates, please. Well, just hold on a few seconds while I check to see if I have any. I'll take them. My advice to you is to try them first. I've had them for quite a while, so they aren't exactly brand new. Oh, that's a fact. Daytime, night, outside, inside. What Good is it you're wanting to God. Spider Man. Uh, the star. The stars in the night sky. Well, you be careful. The emulsion's kind of old. Tell you what, you take a few shots of whatever you want to photograph and see what sort of results you get. If those plates aren't perfect, I'll give you your money back. And if they're okay, well, you can go back and buy some more. Okay. I'll take your advice. Oh, you shady, shady bitch! Get back here! Also, I didn't buy a gun yet, but... I don't need to. Where did he go? God damn it. Wait, who's this? Let's check this shit out. God, you can't look at anything in this game. What about you? Can I talk to you fine ladies? Excuse me, ma'am. You mean miss, my good man. Miss Picot. Do forgive me, Miss Picot. I'm not from these parts. The name's Parker. Good day, young man. Yeah, she likes what she sees. What about this chick? She seems she looks younger. See? Like it just if I there. Something strange struck me. I haven't seen a church around here. Alas, we live in godless times. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm waiting for my niece. Good day. What's that, bitch? No, actually, that's pretty effed up when you think about it. 1910's village not having a church? They ain't living in no godless times. We're living in godless times. 1910? Nah, nah. Miss Picard. I'm talking to you. Your behavior is unbecoming, young man. Accosting an unmarried woman in public. Don't force me to call the police. Do it. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. Miss Picard. Your behavior is un... Oh, She's all talk. I'm going to cost her all day. A cost. A cost. Yeah. Peter Parker knows no boundaries. What else can I do? Can I slap her? What is this? No, that's nothing. Can I look at her? The lady sitting over there may be able to help me. Yeah, gaze at her. Yes, Parker. <laughs> okay. What's up here? Dead horse in. Ooh, look at this. Look at this yokel. He'll give me the real talk. How do you do, sir? No need to serve me, son. Name's Donahue. Ted Donahue. <laughs> Man. Parker fellow? I am that Parker fellow. Yes, but how... <laughs> Old Jed knows a thing or two. It was the doctor who told me that a young scientist was coming to visit. I don't... 
Shit. See, if he's got multiple parts to his dialogue, enter will just end it. Rather than skipping the text to the next part. He must not have had anything good to say, though. Okay. What have you got to say to that? Hey, Oker. He's gonna win the shirts off our backs. This isn't my day. It never is. I'm paying for the drinks this time. Darn right. <laughs> so Darn right. right. Love that voice acting. So good. But hey, every character is voice acted. That's impressive, man. It's like the old Republic or something. Now I'm trying to talk to him. I'm trying to look at him. The owner seems none too friendly. Okay. Like, what does he... What does the look button really do? Like, does it look at anything in a certain area? Or the entire room? Or, I don't know. What'll it be? Some information, please. Does this look like a library? What are you drinking? Uh, my beer. Yeah, that'll be one dollar. Goodness gracious! Goddamn inflation. Okay, I drank it. He's not gonna talk to me. What'll it be? Nothing. Oh, you can't keep drinking. That's a bummer. Alright, Parker. Play some tunes. Play some shit. Talk to the piano. Nope. Head in the back. Hey, where do you think you're going? Get back in front of the counter. Or what? Or what? So far, every location has been pretty useless. This town sucks. Let's see, now if I look at this, will he say anything? No. See, you're just supposed to deduce what the hell's going on there. I need explanations. Verbal ones. Oh, he's checking something out. See? Those those lines. His spidey sense is tingling. Rope ladder. Okay, pick up rope ladder. Okay, I think we have a rope ladder in our possession. And we have the set of plates. Okay, so now rope ladder is equipped. Spidey sense prevailed. Good God. Let's look. The beams are covered in spider webs. This place is filthy. No shit. My spidey sense isn't sending any messages. It's one of those games where, like, at some point, every location will be vital, but not right now. Let's just walk off the pier into the sunset. Nope, can't do that. No spidey sense. Let's move on. Coming for you, coming for you, coming for you, coming for you. How did they get over there? I don't know. Maybe they walked over just like me. Maybe they are also on the case. More likely that everyone here is a, uh, is a deep one in disguise, so... 
Hello, dead squirrel. Ah, damn it! Oh, it's a branch. <laughs> Why? Why was he like, Oh, God, a branch! I need it. I need it in my life. And now he has it. He is the sole owner of that particular branch. That's just weird adventure game rules at their finest. <laughs> Look at these backgrounds. It's just a mishmash of color. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's go deep into the woods. Oh, hello. Okay, now if I... There we go. You need to really firmly click it. A creeper? Why would I just pick up a creeper? What does that even mean? What is a creeper? This is maybe like a, a bug or it's a... It's a creature of some kind. Okay. What in God's seven hells am I doing here? Oh, jeez. It's the lost woods. But here's something else. Another branch! Damn it, Parker! You're lost in the woods and you're picking up branches for no reason! Uh, yeah, this might go on forever. Okay, let's not do that anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> I can just, like, hold down left forever and, uh, oh, no, doesn't work there. Woods Simulator 2015. Oh, good God, I might actually be lost. No joke. Well, what over there? There's like a clearing over there. Oh, I can't get up there. Shit, I think I'm lost. only one thing left to do move back and forth repeatedly until you get free nope that's not gonna do anything damn it Parker you had one job not do not get lost in the woods and you loused it up oh well, this is this is good right oh shit What is this? You see this thing? That looks like some sculpture. Nope, it's nothing. But it looks like something. What was the point of this area? This was just to give me some false hope. There's a way out. There's no way out. This is hell. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's pretty bad.
Okay, we might have to look it up now. How to get free from the woods. I, I gotta think it's either, like, something really hidden, or it's like a sequence of routes I have to take. It's one of the two. Oh! Oh! Maybe it's just head right on that screen and I never did it. Um... That was the way I can't. Whoa! Oh, Branch! Oh, Branch, I love you! Branch, come to me! Yay, Branch! Like, okay, maybe, maybe if it was Michelle Branch, then I could understand, but he just loves regular branches. Well, that was enough for one day. Goodness. Time to hit the hay. Let's go to our room, settle in, put on the goonies, and just sleep away all our troubles. Ugh. Damn you. Ugh. One of these. Use the creeper. Damn it. Okay, well, just pretend I'm horizontal right here. It shouldn't be too hard for you to imagine. Alright, so, yeah, that's Shadow of the Comet so far. We didn't really accomplish much. Uh, I imagine next time we'll, we'll start using a walkthrough a bit more. But there are some interesting characters lurking about. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Good old retro goodness. Anyways, my name is Mang. Game I'm watching is Call of Cthulhu Shadow of the Comet. And I'll see you fine folks in the next part.